Thanks for watching this Eastlink TV sneak peek. To see more, tune into Eastlink TV Channel 10 and check your local listings for showtimes. The Canada 150 celebrations just won't quit. This summer, we showed you how Bacchus Heritage Village got in on the fun with a world record picnic. Well, they're back at it again, this time with a much more classy and dignified affair. We are right in the middle of the Bacchus Masquerade Ball. This is an 1867 period ball with period masks, period costumes, and lots of period music and dance. Well, it's Canada 150, so this is our opportunity to go back to 1867 and just explore a little bit about what was life like in 1867. Well, we have been dancing for a number of years. Uh, we're associated with Pickering Museum Village, so we routinely do quadrilles, uh, gallops, chartiches, and waltzes. It's the first time we've come to a, a masquerade ball, and uh, we've had a great time here, and it's really wonderful to see all the different costumes. Lots of people here in Renaissance costumes that they really went way out for. I think it's fair to say that considering the amount of experience they've had, some people are dancing very well indeed, and I would love to have them in my group. We had two workshops uh, during the day, so in the morning there was a workshop on set dances and in the afternoon there was a workshop on couple dances, so the dance mistress took us through the period dances, we practiced all of them, and then uh, our dance mistress is also the prompter tonight. One of the things I like to do is try to dispel the myths about Victorian dancing, oh it's boring, or oh it's too difficult for everybody. No. Everybody used to dance. Everybody danced out in the country. And if everybody danced, it couldn't have been that difficult. And everybody had fun, so why not share it now? This is social dancing. They did very well. They did very well. We had some people who had done some dancing before, and we had people who have never danced or done very little. Well, that's OK. We ease you into it. We teach you how to do the turn. We just say four steps at a time. And when you're all doing it together, it helps because everyone else is helping you. Uh, I've always been really interested in history and I read a lot of like historical novels and things like that so when I saw that you got a chance to learn the actual historical dances and stuff I wanted to have a chance to try it out because you don't get to do that very often. Uh, well you know like eight hours from now it might be a little <laughs> far back in the brain but I think when the music starts and people start moving it'll probably chime in a little bit and be all right to have a good it's just about having fun right so. I'm expecting to have a lot of fun. Absolutely. Dancing was fun. It was, um, uh, you know, in the 19th century, a lot of people were working on their own, so, and you were far away from lots of others, friends and family. So getting together and having a dance was a very important social opportunity. They danced all night long. They danced for seven or eight hours. We're not going to quite do that tonight, um, but yes, we are having a ball. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Eastling TV is the home of community content. Make sure you don't miss any of it by clicking subscribe here.